Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon, nope, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. We're still in the Sun and Moon mode. Um, it has been three weeks since I've been away, and I apologize it's been so long, but we are back now, and uh, I should have more time for videos and stuff. I started a new job, uh, had a lot of stuff going on with the holidays, and as you guys know, I got sick, so... <laughs> Anyway, it just seemed like everything in the world wanted me to uh, stay away from YouTube, but we are back now, and uh, we are here with an RU tier match against my boy Argon from Discord, and I believe he's also a PokeTuber. If I remember, I will leave a link to this man's channel in the description below. Go check him out. Anyway, we're having an RU tier match. His team is scary as all hell, <laughs> and it's really bulky. So there were actually tier changes uh, announced today, and like half his team... Uh, would have been like Yu Yu uh, just a day or two ago, but uh, Mega Blastoise actually got moved down to RU, which is fucking insane. So he's got the Mega Blastoise, the Mandibuzz, the Pharaoh Seed, Whimsicott, the Linoon, and the Girder. While looking at my team, I've got honestly, I kind of threw this team together in like five minutes. It was just, it was really just Mons I wanted to use. Um, so we got the Nidoqueen, we've got the Decidueye, I really wanted to try out the Z-Move uh, for Decidueye. Uh, we also have a Comfey, which is a Mon that I have fucking fallen in love with. This thing is a monster. And uh, not so much in this battle, in the next battle that I'm going to show you guys, Comfey puts in the finest of work. But uh, anyway, we also have a Mesprit, a Kamala. Now, funny thing about this Kamala, it was actually not on the team originally. I had a, a I think I had an Assault Vest Snorlax. Uh, over this slot, but I found that this team is really it kind of struggles with hazards and stuff The only thing I have to get rid of hazards really is Nidoqueen to get rid of like uh, toxic spikes and stuff But anyway, we got a rapid spinner here in Kamala and finally we have a sticky web setter in uh, Araquanid here now this Araquanid I really don't like this set at all um, Because it's not one of the bulky sets. It's it's like I said before it's a sticky web set it gets wrecked easily. So I really feel like a did on this team is kind of the weakest link. But anyway, it was a fun battle, guys, and I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins. I'm going to lead off with my Nidoqueen as my opponent is going to lead off with this Blastoise. Now, obviously, this is pretty shitty for me. I'm going to have to get the hell out of here because... I definitely don't want to be staying in with my Nidoqueen and lose it to this uh, this Blastoise and his Water Pole shenanigans. So he's going to Mega Evolve here, and I was shocked. I even told him, like, isn't Mega Blastoise you, you? But he actually showed me that it's RU now, which fucking blows my mind. Get this thing out of RU, what are they thinking? So he's going to go for the Water Pulse here as I bring in Bubble Butt here. The uh, Araquanid, <laughs> that Water Pulse actually does a lot of damage, because like I said before in the intro, this thing is not bulky whatsoever, it's to set up sticky webs. He's going to go for the Dark Pulse and totally dick down my fucking Araquanid. I'm in red health here, and uh, he's just going to be able to finish me off with another Water Pulse. So uh, literally, Araquanid did not get to do much of anything, I pretty much just got my sticky webs up. And that's all she wrote for for uh, Araquanid here. So here, I'm going to bring out Oliver Queen, the uh, Decidueye. And here, I'm just going to go for the Leaf Blade as my opponent is going to swap out into the Mandibuzz. I probably could have seen that coming and probably like pulled a double or something. But anyway, I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm, not Leaf Storm, sorry, <laughs> Leaf Blade here. I actually get a crit. That was decent damage, I mean, for a crit. I mean, it is resisted and everything, but... Yeah, so Mandibuzz is a bulky piece of shit. Like, his entire team is just nothing but bulk. Uh, this team was definitely really hard for my team to deal with. So here he's going to go for the knockoff, and that's going to get rid of my uh, cum phase leftovers here, which kind of sucks. But uh, here, I actually predicted him to go for the toxic. So I'm going to go for the substitute here and uh, block his toxic. Now, the turns here are going to move by so slowly because... He's going to get leftovers recovery. I'm going to get, well, he knocked my he knocked off my leftovers. But anyway, yeah, it's going to definitely slow down the turns here. We got a long battle here, 33 turns. And uh, here, I'm just going to go for the Calm Mind as my opponent surprisingly stays in here. But we'll see here that he actually has a trick up his sleeve. He actually has the Whirlwind here. So 
I forgot that Whirlwind even hits through sub. Like, guys, I haven't even picked up my 3DS in like three weeks. I'm going to be rusty, so... <laughs> I, I totally forgot it hits through sub, so he's going to whirlwind me out into Oliver Queen. I don't want to stay in here because this Mandibuzz could definitely have the Brave Bird. Plus, I don't want to take a knockoff either. So he's going to go for the Toxic, expecting me to swap. And I bring back out Kumfei here. So really, Mandibuzz is such a problem for my team. Like, this team... <laughs> I would not advise you guys using this team. Like the team information will be in the description as as usual, but uh, yeah, I literally built this team in like five minutes. There was very very little thought that uh, went into building this team. So here he's going to bring out Hug Me, the shiny Pharaoh Seed. Looks badass as hell, and uh, I'm just gonna go for the Draining Kiss, and of course it's gonna activate his. Uh, his Iron Barb, so I'm going to take some damage from that, and then I'm going to take some damage from Toxic. And uh, I'm obviously going to have to get the hell out of here because I literally <laughs> I literally have nothing to, t to hit this thing with. So I'm going to swap back out into Oliver Queen here because I kind of figured he can't really do anything to me unless he has, like, uh, unless he has Thunder Wave, which even then is not totally a big deal because I do have these sticky webs up. But uh, he's going to swap out now and uh, bring back out the Mandibuzz. Again, I should have seen this shit coming, but I, I stupidly go for the Swords Dance here. I should have swapped out into my Nidoqueen. That <laughs> that definitely would have been a much, much better play uh, rather than going for Swords Dance. But here, I'm going to bring out Nidoqueen, and I can scare this thing out with an Ice Beam because he definitely doesn't want to take that. But he's actually just going to go straight for the Whirlwind, and <laughs> that is why I wish I went into Nidoqueen the turn before. So here, he's going to whirlwind me out into Morningwood, the uh, good old Kamala here. And, uh, I mean, I guess the plus side is he can't Toxic me, because <laughs> uh, Kamala's ability, Comatose. So here, he's going to knock off and get rid of my Assault Vest here. I'm just, honestly, just going to go for damage, and <laughs> it's not going to do much damage, but I'm just going to go for the return here, and uh, he's going to get some damn leftovers back. So this Mana Buzz is such a problem for my team. It's It really is disgusting, especially with the... Uh, Especially being combined with this uh, fucking Pharaoh Seed here. <laughs> These two Mons are such a problem for my team. Now, I had Fire Punch on the Snorlax, but like I said, I got rid of it for Kamala. I literally don't have a Fire Move on my team, which really sucks. Um, so I think what, <laughs> if you want to use this team, I would heavily advise putting uh, Flamethrower on Nidoqueen. So anyway, I'm going to bring out Nidoqueen here. As my opponent is going to go for the Dryer Ball. I, I was actually not expecting it to do that much damage. I mean, Nidoqueen really isn't that fast. But I mean, I guess I do have Sticky Webs up. And it's going to make him even slower than he already is. So I'm just going to go for Ice Beam here. And uh, he's going to hit me with another Gyro Ball. And here, I kind of figured that a Life Orb uh, Earth Power would kill him. And it does, thankfully. So I don't have to worry about this damn Pharaoh Seed. And here, he's going to bring out his Lanoon. And I kind of figured an extreme speed was coming my way. Although I was kind of scared of him setting up the uh, belly drum here. Knowing that I know that he has extreme speed. But yeah, his safest play was just to go for extreme speed. And that is exactly what he's going to do. As I bring out my Mesprit here. My Valor. And uh, so here, he's going to swap. And uh, actually, I think he could have stayed in. He probably could have just gone for the Shadow Claw, honestly. Because I can't kill him with anything. But uh, here, I'm just going to go for the knockoff. And it's going to knock off this Mandibuzz's leftovers. And now, I'm going to have to get the hell out of here. Because I don't want to fuck with his Mandibuzz. I'm going to bring back out Morningwood. Basically to die here, really. Um, Morningwood is, like, really weak. Like, his attack... Like, I am max attack. His attacks do, like, no damage. And uh, he's just going to go for the knockoff here. And that is going to kill off my Komala, unfortunately. And uh, here, I'm just going to bring out Tits McGee and uh, <laughs> go for the young Ice Beam here as my opponent. No, sorry, I don't go for Ice Beam. I think I go for Sludge Wave, expecting him to swap. Yeah, so he, he swaps out into the Girder. He's going to get affected by these Sticky Webs. And uh, I go for Sludge Wave there, which is pretty clean. It gets uh, pretty decent damage off on this, uh, this Girder. And thank God, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Arceus above that I did not poison him because I do not want his guts to activate So here I'm gonna bring out my boy Hank once again, and uh, he's gonna go for the mock punch It's not gonna hurt me at all, but being toxic the toxic is definitely starting to take its toll on old all ah, Can't talk 
on old Hank here, unfortunately, so... I love when Hank attacks, it, it like spins in a circle, it's really cool. This fucking Mon is adorable, let's be honest. And uh, here, he's gonna go for the Ice Punch here. I don't know why I said here twice. I really need to work on my commentary skills, I haven't done this in three weeks, guys. I, I apologize, I'm probably gonna be shit at this. <laughs> I mean, some things never change, but... Anyway, I'm just gonna go for another Draining Kiss here, as he is going to basically just stay in and go for another Ice Punch, and the Ice Punch plus the Poison is going to kill me here. Unfortunately, my boy Kumfei didn't get to do much this battle, but uh, Shiny Kumfei looks badass. So here, I'm gonna bring out my boy Valor again, or, I, I mean, I guess it's genderless, whatever. I don't mean to assume it's gender or anything, you know, I don't want to trigger anybody in the comment section, but anyway, here, I'm going to commit suicide here. <laughs> Hopefully Logan Paul's not watching this video. And uh, I'm going to get out of here and go into my Nido Queen to heal it up to full. With the good old Healing Wish here. And uh, thankfully Healing Wish activates before the Stealth Rocks damage. I wasn't sure if I was going to live <laughs> to the uh, Stealth Rocks there. But yeah, so it's going to activate. I'm going to take some Rocks damage on Nido Queen. But I'm basically up to full health here. And Nido Queen is just going to go for the Sludge Wave here. And kill off the Girder. Because the only girder that matters is my girder. <laughs> I love using girder. You guys know. I've I've used that damn mon so many fucking times. So here, he's going to go out into his mandibuzz. Now this fucking ice beam. Oh, I'm so mad about this play. This fucked me. He lives on one HP. Tell me how. I was life orb sheer force. Ice beam. From a Nido Queen. Modest. Max special attack, guys. And that fucker lives on 1 HP. God damn it. He told me he literally lived on 1 HP. I was so fucking fuming when that happened. God. So he brings out his damn Blastoise here. And I figured my best play, honestly, was to just go for the Sludge Wave and try to weaken this thing for my Decidueye in the back. So I kind of figured at this point in the battle, I'm not going to win this game. But I at least want to try and make the score as as good as I can at least. So he's gonna go for the water pulse there that is going to kill off my Nido Queen. And my last mon is Oliver all fuck. Oliver Queen here. Jesus, that that W is killing me. And uh here I'm just gonna go for the Leaf Blade. There's no sense in me going for the uh the swords dance there because if he went for the uh the dark pulse I would have died for sure. So here he's gonna bring out his Whimsicott. And I actually calced it a plus two uh, Z move from Decidueye will actually kill this thing. So I decided to go for the Swords Dance. And plus, if he went for the uh, Memento there, it would have helped me out. And thankfully, he doesn't have or he didn't use the Encore because um, I would have been <laughs> Encored into Swords Dance there. But he's actually just going to go for the Moon Blast. And here, I'm just going to go for the Z move as my opponent is going to Memento me now. And now I'm going to be basically at neutral, because it's going to lower my special attack and attack by two stages each. So, he's going to kill himself, and uh, <laughs> a lot of suicide in this battle. And uh, I'm going to pop my Z-move, but obviously there's no target, so it's going to fail, which really sucks. A Decidueye Z-move looks fucking badass. <laughs> You'll, you guys will see it in the next battle, I promise. But uh, anyway, his last mon is this Lanoon. So I at least brought it down to <laughs> a 1-0, like... I tried my best guys <laughs> so I'm just gonna leaf blade and had I crit him here I would have won but unfortunately that is not the case his berry is going to proc and he's going to be all the way back up to almost full health and he is going to be able to shadow claw me and that will be the game so good game Argon like I said if I remember I will leave a link to your channel in the description below I'm gonna get out of here guys and uh, record another video I love you guys peace out